Hi guys, so leo tunaongelea businesses zenye unaanza na 500 bob to 1000 shillings. These are small businesses zenye maybe umesave kidogo na unataka ka side hustle zitakusaidia. So to get into it, ya kwanza ni second hand clothes, mitumba. Mitumba ndio kategori yenye I think for me it's number one because of profit margin zake. So unaweza enda gikomba, u pick uchukue some few items, some blouses, some you can sell anything in any second hand. Unaweza ipata maybe na 40 bob, 30 bob, 100 bob per piece. Unakuja unaziosha kama uko na pasi unazipiga pasi na kuapua, unazi unazi either you can hawk them ama unaweza weka kwa streets. <laughs> Alafu ama unaweza zipost online kwa social media. So when you decide to post social media unaweza ziweka kwa group, unaweza ziadvertise kwa group. Make sure umezi umeziandika description vizuri. Kama ni dresses unaandika dress size, dress color. Piga picha zenye ziko karibu zinaonyesha kama msee mwenye amiziba na kaa vipi. I've seen so many successful businesses on Instagram zenye zinafanya thrift clothes. Zinaitwa thrift clothes huko. So that's the first one zenye yenye unaweza fanya. Alafu pia usisahau ukwe detailed kabisa. So if it's uh, if it's uh, a black dress unaweza piga pia pia, pia ukipiga picha unaweza itafuta on Pinterest or online mtu amevaa hivyo ama mtu mwenye ameka or you get mtu mwenye anaweza kumodelia usin second hand clothes zikifanya poa sana unaweza nza hivyo kidogo kidogo and eventually after some time unanunua bells unafungua shop tumeona hata mtumba man sasa hivi amekuwa famous sana fanya poa pia wewe unaweza nza hivyo kidogo alafu ukafika hiyo point alafu sasa namba 2 ni mobile hairdresser so mobile hairdresser squeeze especially ile time ya covid hiyo kitu ili blow up kabisa you find that unaenda kushuka watu braids cornrows nini you just need to get that skill if you can have someone mwenye anaweza kukufunza how to do that then unaweza fanya they usually charge 650 for labor and it's just simple braids pia ina depend na location penye yuko unaweza charge even more so this is something very 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 good kuanzisha unaweza pata mtu mwenye anaweza kukufunza uanze na to basic then eventually utajifunza more alafu kumbuke hii hasa ni poa juu haulipi rent hakuna rent unalipa unaenda kwa mtu unamshuka na unamaliza hivyo then the third one is uh, making sauces so in food sasa kama uko poa kupika unaenda ingredients kwa market Unakuja unazipika una make sauce unaweza mtengeneza barbecue sauce get to recipe online unaweza get barbecue sauce alafu unazeka kwa jazz hizi glass jars unazilabel vizuri unazivzia watu unaweza enda from door to door kama mnaiba pia ukiwauzia unaweza uza through your social media page which is also nice kuna tawajui kupika na kuna watu pia wako busy sana hawana time ya kufanya hivyo so unawasaidia i've seen pia watu wakitengeneza tamarind sauce unazi bottle unaziuza hizi bottles hizi jars zote unaweza zipata kwa mtunji at a very cheap price as indicated below so pia hiyo ni hustle poa especially if you're good at cooking the fourth one ni business ya crafts So crafts unapata vitu kutengeneza vitu kama kiondo unapata vitu kama hizi artifacts za Masai una get hizo raw materials alafu una unatengeneza unauzia watu ata ata at a certain price so ukifanya hivyo unapata una make at least ka profit kwa especially ka uko poa na art so hii inafuatana hand in hand na bidded jewelry which is number 5 You make easy beads then you is gonna flags different flags different names people love those so unazi unaziuza a packet of beads goes for 100 bob so unaziuza unaziuza una make profit no no na kama profit margin yake iko iko kubwa ni nzuri sana profit margin yake ni poa sana so hizo beads most people use ipata kutoka Karioko market so ndio Karioko unachukua hizo beads unatengeneza hizo vitu unaziuza very very marketable unaweza pata place yenye kuna wasee wengi unauza place yenye ni high kuna high traffic 
ya watu naweza pata along the road kwa bus station near schools near universities and then and number 6 ni portrait business kuna watu wenye kupua sana kuchora wako poa sana art all you need is canva and pencil so canva and pencils unaweza kuwa kwa hapo unachora mtu portrait yake unamuzi kuna portraits zenye uuzo hata 1000 bob 3000 bob hata 10000 bob depending on how good you are na pia vinyo una ji market ndio nashinda ni mensist social media page yako make use of it ukiweka auto to bundles umejiji advertise uji market ongea na watu ukwe open ambia wasemi mimi naanza hii hustle ni support nitakuchorea hii na hii na hii then unilipe a certain amount of money and then the seventh one which is the biggest one yenye na watu uliza sana number seven ni street food so street food na naongelea mayai pasua naongelea mtura unaweza uza samosas kebabs bajias but kwa hii category sasa sitaongelea smokies cause smokie hiyo troll ya smokie inakuwa a bit expensive i think it's from 5000 shillings hiyo mpya or unaweza pata second hand so hiyo ni business category nyingine tofauti yenye tutaongelea in fact nitatafuta mtu wa smokie tumfanyie interview tumwambie atu explain yeye ni aje mtu anaweza anza ni aje mtu anaweza ni how much mtu atahitaji challenges zenye na face so make sure you subscribe ndio hiyo video when i put that video up unaweza kuwatch na pia uelewe kama unataka hiyo business so number 7 ndio nimesema ni street food you can get a bucket when unafanya mayai unapata unachukua bucket yenye ni clear unauza hizo snacks unaweza pia ji advertise kwa maofisi huwa wanakula chai sana so unaweza uzia ofisi unaweza uzia pia your your neighbors unaweza uza online nimeona watu wakiuza hadi mabuyu unaweza package mabuyu achari hizi vitu za cost pia then number 8 ni number 8 ni kufua laundry kawe ni mste uko poa na laundry ama we ni msafi bado kuna watu naturally wako very neat saka unaweza fanya hiyo job ni poa sana all you need is just nguvu zako tu So you can start small. Kama uji penye unaweza anza, unaweza enda uangalie ni baba wako anambia mimi nataka kwanza hasoli ya kufua. Naweza kukufulia unilipe a certain amount. Unaanza kidogo kidogo. I've seen mama fua companies hata zenye ziko hadi LinkedIn. So zinakuwa big companies eventually zinakuwa cleaning companies wako na crew wenye wana wana clean even after construction and post construction cleaning una clean ya watu apartments hii category pia inaweza yaeka watu kama wa organize vitu kuna faith the organizer mwenye tumeona huwa anaorganize watu vitu it's very broad it's very big unaenda unafulia wase unapata dog unapata dopo hata ni una watu wengine sometimes wanaitwa place nyingine by the way kama unaishi kahawa sukari unaitwa kahawa ndani wende ufue unaitwa gurai unaitwa kenyu unaitwa wapi so unakuwa any very active alafu pia unaji market pia wewe ukiwa kama kuna group ya wamama maybe unaweza andika hapo mimi nafua ujoin hizi marketplace uji advertise kama uko na phone maybe uko na phone unaweza piga picha kazi yako na jeza record kidogo unaji market hivyo na una make do very very lucrative unaweza pata after some time unaanzisha kampuni yako mwenyewe by the way unakuwa na cleaning company yako mwenyewe inakuwa kitu poa number 9 ni kuuza second hand books so kuna watu wako willing kukupea second hand books for free na kama uwezi pata for free unaweza zibai at a small amount ndio maana you can you need maybe 500 to 1000 bob so you can sell second hand books ukiziuza unapata kwa pesa kidogo unaona sasa kafaso hivyo pole 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 then number 10 ni ku rent motorbike what i mean by this is that unakuwa mse wa boda si hawezi sasa hiyo kununua yako bado you can work for someone else unakubaliana leo uni nitakuletea this much nitawaka nitakuletea this much maybe ni 300 per day unapelekea mdosi wako so unabaki na hiyo yenye unabaki na yako una sell unajiendeleza unaweza pa join sako after some time unapata ndio poa unajinunulia bike yako hizi businesses zote watu wanza kidogo kidogo sema atiwezi ana mbaki kidogo kidogo then after some time ina grow ina kuwa poa unafanya kitu even bigger humble beginnings zinakuwa gapoa 
Then number 11 unaweza funza. You can become a tutor. So what I mean ni at si lazima ikuwe kitu academic by the way. Si ati lazima ikuwe mathematics or French ama foreign languages ama nini. Unaweza kufanya hii mm, kufunza watu na skills zako. Unaweza kuwa poa sana na photo photography unafunza photography unaweza kuwa poa sana na vitu kama drawing kama instrumentals kuna vako poa na guitar so badala ya hivyo unaweza make the side hustle mimi naambia i teach guitar lessons at this amount per, uh, per lesson una make do hivyo pole pole so you need this instrument yenye uko nayo tayari ama skill yenye uko nayo tayari unafunza watu za kwa sports pia una coach una train watu kama ni football kama ni badminton na hizo vitu zote so si lazima ikuwe ti academic si lazima and then now number 12 najua hii watu wengine watacheck but it's not funny hear me out unaweza kuwa a freelance clown nowadays especially in Nairobi kuna watu wengi sana wana spend a lot of money on parties and especially kids birthdays with this era of social media kila mtu anataka they need the best and we all want the best for our kids so ni za kwa freelance club if it's if it's not okay for you you know i think it's a good thing and as i make you up to do part time maybe weekends and it's 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 also good and then uh, another thing is also okay another thing is also a uh, talent you can make money showcasing your talent mbona wao wengi sana kwenda hapo cvd wakiimba wana play instruments wana dance alafu watu wana donate na wapendo unaweza anza hivyo unaweza jipata na siku moja uangukie ndio poa ukuwe successful from hapo so una showcase una showcase skills zako zenye uko nazo and at two players wanza kuimba spoken word kwanza ni mwana watu wengi sana kufanya spoken word na inalipa inakuwa poa unaweza anza tu kidogo kidogo so that's why i said your category 500 shillings to 1000 because maybe unaweza need fair kidogo ya kwenda kufanya hizo vitu na kurudi and and, and such things okay unaweza unaweza fanya hivyo then you upload hi number 14 is a very famous one is selling ebooks i have so many people who saying that kuza hizi uh, ebooks in a letter do something i'm also i'm also into i want to try as well so unapata unaweza buy in bulk unaweza buy ebooks in bulk maybe at 100 bob or even 200 300 bob then unaanza kuziuza so mtu anatumia do unamtumia ebook na whatsapp ama unamtumia kwa gmail kwa email yake pale pole pole inaweza grow nimeona hata pages by the way wanauza ebooks nimeona pages online on instagram and uh, on on facebook wako na whole pages wanaweka different books so many of them na charge one, one 50 bob per book you can also do the same thing kidogo 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 ki post kwa ma group ki post kwa profile yako kiambia watu ah una unakuwa unataka recipe fulani niko na book na za kuuzia na 50 bob unamuzia una make do and then another one is you start food delivery this one is also into relation yeah hiyo street food ya nimeongelea but this one now you can cook from home alafu uko unauzia watu we've seen these mm, these people when you uzia watu wenye wako maybe sokoni na muzi ya food watu wenye wako maybe kwa baba shop watu wenye wako business zingine ama kwa maofisi unauzia food ndio umetengeneza kwa kwa nyumba if you go to kamukunji unaweza kupata hizo 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 plastic uh, the containers zinaweza kuweka food so unazinunua unakuwa msafi unaziclean una make food na kwa tamu una una nini kabla uanze maybe hata unaweza 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 test out unaweza pia watu samples you have to sacrifice unapea watu sample unaambia nataka kwanza chapo za food na hii ndio nimemake unaweza ni unaweza niambia nini naweza change nini naweza improve na food yangu unaweza buy ama ni nini naweza fanya usi buy food unauliza and then unaanza usianze tu hivyo lazima ujue kwanza u establish hii market kwa hapa na ndio usiende hasara ujue kama kuna market ama hakuna market so unaweza food delivery and then we are at number number 16 okay ni ni kusoma na so we are at number 16 kuna indigenous indigenous foods what i mean is is mangwashe nduma hizo vitu ama bananas unaweza unaweza 
nunua from the farmer na hiyo maybe 500 bob to 1000 unaweza zinunua then unazipanga vizuri unaziweka chini mahali na unauza una unauza unaweza ziweka mahali unauza hizo indigenous foods and then number 17 is indoor herbs indoor herbs ni vitu kama dania mint rosemary thyme unaweza ziplant kwa tu containers na uende uziuze Okay, tunaweza enda uziuze kama ni kadania kidogo. Yaani you start small pole pole. Kwa hiyo vitu kama mint hazipatikani rahisi. So you can do that kina rosemary and thyme pia zipatikani rahisi. So profit margin yao iko kubwa. A packet of seedlings usually goes for 150 shillings. Unatafuta mchanga poa nini? We will do that if you're good at farming. If you're not, there is YouTube. Unajifunza then unaanza pole pole. Another one then ni Airbnb. Airbnb doesn't have to be a TC. We fancy home. Unaona how yenye uko nayo? Maybe unaweza za ku Airbnb one room. Unaweza ie si lazima the whole apartment. Una do Airbnb just one section of the house kama ni one room. Unaitengeneza poa inakuwa neat, inakuwa safi. Unaipost online, unaipost Airbnb. It's free to join una post ukipata ratings poa pia inaendelea ku grow hivyo. So unaendelea ku grow. Unaweza pata hata hiyo moja inakulipia rent, inakulisha, inapeleka ina watu hii, inawalipia fees. So you just market yourself. Unaoleza maybe unaishi Nakuru ama unaishi Nairobi. Is there anyone who wants to who is coming to Nakuru? I have an Airbnb penye mnaweza kaa. Unapiga picha. Picha ni important. Picha lazima zikwe poa try as much as possible ukwe na picha clear picha neat zenye zinaka fit so at number 19 ni shoe shining shoe shining we've seen people doing this watu wana wanapiga kivi viatu wanaosha unaweza set up place especially near a, a, a bus station place yenye ni stage unaeka hapo ka set up kadogo unabaizi mashoe shoe creams na shoe polish na hizo brushes maybe a bucket of water na 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 kitamba kupanguza viatu you can start from there it will cost you around 500 to 1000 bob i will also do an interview of this so make sure you subscribe guys this is what is lazima tuzipatie kwa ground tuzipatie kwa ground you know to do exactly how much and where can i get what so make sure you subscribe because interviews are coming with people when you wanafanya hizi biashara ndogo ndogo so apart from shoe shining kuna water vending kuza maji mnao kwa traffic wanauza maji unaweza buy maji in wholesale the 20 day to two bottles they have a liter bottles or even bigger then unaweza kuna kuna warm unaweza kaka kama uko na fridge unaweza kuweka kwa fridge ama mtu anaweza kukuwekea kan uko na maybe jirani nzuri na kuwekea then unaenda unazi unauza at hapo traffic consistently pole 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 eventually uta grow if you are into the water business unaweza anza ta water refill okay pia hiyo ni kitu poa then number 21 kuna selling of uh, shaped balloons for kids so unaweza jifunza ka ujui unaweza jifunza unaweza ona mtu anafanya hiyo kitu then unamwambia eh kuna wenye unaweza nifunza nifanye hizi balloon shapes kuna kwa kana kids festivals unaweza enda uziuza huko kuna uhuru park unaweza kuziuza huko place watu wao wana play parks watu wao wapenye wako unaziuza hapo nani inakuletea kidogo kidogo eventually maybe unaweza pata mse mwingine ukupe kazi pia yeye apo inakuletea something per day anything that involves uh, kids and watu wao wanapenda hizi vitu so you can make a lot of money from it and then kuna selling ice cream but this one is seasonal because mostly ice cream is out in ya 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 joto luckily tuko in a country penye kuna kuanga in most areas kuna kuanga na joto so utapata unaweza ziuza karibu eh, eh, shule places penye ni karibu na shule unaweza ziuza karibu na shopping malls unaweza zi unaweza anywhere penye kuna watu mm-hmm. maybe barabarani unaweza uza pia hapo na una make do unaweza make the, the other type of ice cream ama the simple ice cream is like popsicles they always know the ten bob so you make them na unakuwa pia msafi unakuwa una try una vapoa una kwa represent ama kwa friendly una chatisha watu ndio uweze kuuza na 
who make do. At number 23, to kono social media marketing. Kuna watu, they are so good at social media. It's like a gift. Make use of that. Uneza approach mtu, umambia ni kona business, I can run your page for you. Uneza kuwa na kumekia daily posts, uneza kuwa na make posters, uneza kuwa na answer DMs and all that, answering messages. But you have to build yourself first. I would suggest that ukiweza ku download app ya Canva you can make is on my post mini examples za vitu zenye unaweza fanya unaweza make samples za post unaweza make samples za um, the way you will run your page yote ma cover pages cover cover pictures and all that then unaweka kwa profile yako unaweza weka kama individual or as a business so unaanza ki a whole thing it's a whole business so ukiwa kwa phone as you are scrolling and doing your things you are making money you are making posts for other businesses wanakulipa ku maintain pages za cuz kuna businesses zimekuwa kubwa sana unapata the owner haezi fanya hiyo kazi yote so na anaandika mtu kufanya hiyo kazi so that's number 23 make use of social media make use of facebook instagram if you are good at tiktok make tiktoks for businesses there are people who are really good at that who make tiktoks zenye ni interesting za biashara wanaonyesha products if you sell dresses wanazionyesha and then number 24 is handyman we are all gifted at something kuna watu wamesomea plumbing kuna watu wamesomea plumbing wame kuna wenye ni wana paint na hao market yourself advertise yourself jite professional plumber professional electrician hivyo unaji alafu ukienda kwa client ukifanya kazi kama uko na phone kwa unajipiga picha unapiga picha kazi yako then unaweka kwa page so hizo skills that usingoje kuandikwa kazi kama kazi haikamu unajiandika we mwenyewe so kama we ni painter unaenda maybe ukibahatika ukipata the first job make sure you maximize make sure umepiga picha make sure ume umeonyesha hiyo process kwa sababu wataka kuona kuona before and after so una una unaandika unaweka hizo vitu zote una unaanzaambia tu pia watu by the way mfanya plumbing unaanzaandika hata ka posta very simple uweke kwa penye mnaishi unaweka kwa mlango hapo kwa gate unaandika in need of plumbing services in need of uh, an electrician call this this and this i do this refrigerators i fix sockets unaandika unapata ndo Unaweza make pia posters kadhaa na hiyo ndo yenye umesave unaenda ukiziweka kwa hao kwa apartments penye wanakubali unaenda unaweka plus phone number yako so mtu akiwa na shida unapiga una unaenda pia online kuna platforms pia kuna apps zenye watu uweka skills zao then mtu akitaka kunini I, I remember ta crazy kena ali ali launch app kama hiyo penye unaweka skills zako so mtu akitaka kama ni mtu wa plumbing anampigia simu una follow up na na hiyo then running errands running errands unaanza za small business yenye kujibi mtu ako too busy haezi endea kitu tao haezi fuatilia task fulani unamfanyia at a small fee so una run kama ako na package yafaa kupelekwa mahali ama ni business anafanya kutoka kwa nyumba na haezi toka unaambia mimi naweza kukupelekea mzigo then unilipe a certain amount ama kuna mtu anafanya anafanya shopping i've seen this is such a big deal especially uh, especially nowadays kuna watu wenye hawaezi wako too busy so you offer your services unaambia i can shop for you nikuletee kwa nyumba i can do this for you nikuletee kwa nyumba people like convenience watu wapenda convenience na make do hivyo na unaendelea ku grow then number 26 kuna consultancy so consultancy if you are good at telling people what to do unaweza za consultancy firm so unaweza consult in terms of business unaweza fanya consultations hivyo if you are good at finance if you are good at investment unakuwa una consultant unaweza anzisha tu page yako then unaka boost kidogo so unaweza kuwa ta consultant in terms of farming what what are kujua companies that are kujua individuals that are kujua kenye wanaweza fanya wa make do hiyo hiyo ni consultancy it's extremely exciting if you're good at teaching and guiding na na if you have a bit of experience here even better and then number 27 is packaging bags 
Time ya hii sema hizi bags zikuwe band the paper bags zikuwe band uka to so sahi tunatumia the brown bags hizo za package wa mchele za package wa sukari so unaweza jifunza how to make them unaendea hizo paper unaweza enda hizo paper then unaanza kuziuza uliza shopkeeper wako by the way hizo bags zenye unatumia wewe unaziwa how much na uziwa maybe 600 na mimi kikutengenezea ni kuzi ni kuzi 500 unaweza kubali kila mtu anapenda deal po anachukua hiyo deal unaanza kuzimekisha ukijifunza pia wewe unaweza funza wenzako wenza I've seen people wenye wanafunza watu online how to make these bags so kuna hizo hizo bags zenyeza ku package vitu simple haya pia kuna bags design different zenye ziko na karopi hivi very simple organic bags zenye unaweza unaweza uzia business then business ifanye branding ikuwe na deliver uh, product zao kwa watu na hizo bags So that's a very very good and lucrative business. Kama unajua mtu wenyewe anaweza fanya hiyo, please share this video with them. Okay? Ni kitu hata unaweza fanya kwa nyumba uzuri alafu na distribute. At number 28 ni freelance MC. So unaweza kwa freelance MC. Meaning that if you're good at entertaining and if you are really good at entertainment, unaweza jiweka kwa social media kiambia watu wana MC if you have close friends alafu wako na event unaweza ambia naweza shy mimi ku MC naweza MC kwa event yako in case you get chance to hivi ya kuanzisha hiyo una document unaiweka kwa page yako you just do as much as possible you be the best MC be the una decide we mwenyewe na sababu today i'm going to kill this unakuwa the best MC unaenda unaua show That's number 28. Ni meona very successful MCs. Uh, one I know of is Dance on my tail if I'm not wrong. That one is a really good MC. He's one of the ones I know. Unaanza kidogo kidogo eventually unafika hiyo hiyo point. Then at number 29 is affiliate marketing. Affiliate marketing unaweza ifanya from Jumia. Jumia kwa na affiliate marketing program in any free to join. So kwa page yako unaweza advertise vitu za Jumia and then unaweka link yako. So every time someone buys something from Jumia kupitia hiyo link unapata ka commission. So maybe you are into beauty stuff ama you are into electronics. Unaweza kuna una, una post kwa page yako unaambia baby wasi kuna hii for poa kuna iko na if you can you can get it from Jumia here is the link is isn't your specification package za hii simu unana una make commission pole pole unakuwa na hustle ama hata side hustle you can even perfect this of your youtube channel yako ukwe una review vitu unaweka links una review books una unatoa links clickback so this clickback unatoa link hapo unaiweka unauza hizo books if you are into dieting beauty electronics in here anyone affiliate marketing is very good but unakuwa patient na unakuwa consistent you do your best in all these hustles you do your best usi darau a small start kazi ni kazi by the way unajikaza we mwenyewe unafanya kwa sasa usipojisaidia wewe hakuna mtu mwingine anaweza kusaidia so that's number 29 at number 30 unajisaidia watu ku kuandika CVs that can be a nice side hustle unajiona unazandika CVs then sample tunaweka online ama una, una, unaambia watu kwa mimi i'm very good at developing professional CVs because kuna watu wengi wanatafuta kazi so unaandikia CVs unaweka samples i'll keep on insisting on Canva unaweza fanya design poa hata unaweza jifunza wewe mwenyewe kuandika professional CVs so after that you make sasa yako ka hustle then una make do Uh, so that's it um, those are the 30 side hustles or hustles ama kazi ama businesses in Uganda na 500 to 1000 shillings kama kuna kitu nimesahau unaweza comment na tutafuatilia to explain kwa another video so if you liked it just make sure you like comment share ka kuna hustle yote nimetaja na unafanya you can take your time if you have time kwa explain ya wase hapo kwa comments wenye wanaweza saidika na wenye wanaweza fanya ndio pia wao wajianzishe na wa make do so if you know also of someone mwenye anataka kujua mwenye anaanza hiyo hustle unaweza mshare hii video 
and we grow together. So until next time.